So, what do you reckon to date night? We're going to talk about going on a date night today. Join us. Well, welcome to The Home Place. I'm Paul, this is my lovely wife, Carolyn, and today we wanted to talk about date night. <laughs> Any of you guys like going on a date? Or is that just for when you were courting and before you were married and then after you're married and you have children, you don't do dates anymore? <laughs> I don't think so. I reckon that there's room for date night, date afternoon, date morning, date anything, even when you've got children. So that's what we wanted to talk about this morning. Um, this is a picture of us yesterday. Where were we, wifey? We were on a date afternoon. We'd just taken my mom to the airport. Our children are both away. And so we decided to have lunch at Mod Pizza. And um, we would very typically take a selfie when we are on a date night or a date whatever, um, because we want to send that to the children firstly, so they can see that whilst they're not here, we're not just moping around the place. And secondly, whilst they're not here, they're missing out because if they were there, we'd probably be paying for them to have pizza too. <laughs> you know, New Year is a time for new beginnings and resolutions and all that kind of stuff. Well, why not start a new habit? And that is the two of you going on date nights or date afternoons. Before you throw it out, it's good. Why is it good? We've got a few verses here, wifey. What, what's the first one? Malachi 3.16 says, Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another. You know, sometimes or oftentimes in married life, in the busyness and hustle and bustle of life, especially when the children come along, do we get to talk often one to another? Well, is it even possible? You know, when you've got <laughs> well, we talk mayhem about all who's the house. taking the dog to the vet and who's picking up the groceries and who's getting the kids and who's doing, but we don't actually talk heart to heart right. very often. There just isn't time for that. And in our experience, which is fairly typical, I think, really the only time you get to have some one-on-one -on -one time is when you get all the other ones <laughs> out of the equation for a little while <laughs> and then we can talk a little bit. So that's, that's they that feared the Lord spake often one to another. So we need to speak often one to another. Let's create an environment where that's even possible. So maybe we need to have frequent date nights. Oh, well, every week, every <laughs> night. <laughs> that, so would, that would be impractical. What we want to suggest is that during this program or as soon as this program is over and you finish watching it that you both decide on when you're going to schedule a date night just one just one just one date night i can promise you if you don't do it in a year's time you'll be like didn't they say something about a date night <laughs> yeah we did <laughs> or when we repost this program six yeah months that's later. <laughs> right that's right or when somebody reshares it or whatever so set it set a time now that you're going to have just the two of you some time together this week Make it important because it is important. Very important. It's more important, the marriage, communication. It's more important than Facebook, but you find time for that. It's more important than YouTube, and you find time for that. And it's more important than a lot of things that we find time. We're not pointing the finger at you guys, the same for us. So, um, wifey, you had a quote here you wanted to read. Um, from the book Ministry of Healing, it says, Determine to be all that it is possible to be to each other. Continue the early attentions. In every way, encourage each other in, the f in fighting the battles of life. Study to advance the happiness of each other. A lot of that practically happens mm -hmm. on a date night or... We're calling it a date night and you know you can go out for a meal if you can find somebody to somebody you really 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 trust mm -hmm. to look after the children if you've got little ones if you've got older ones they can maybe take care of the little ones if you have that situation in the family so you know there's there's got to be flexibility what about if if there's no one well i remember when we we are still are but less so now our children are older but when our children were younger we were very very guarded with our children we wouldn't just leave them with anybody because you know a lot can happen in five mm -hmm. minutes so what we well, would that do that date takes longer than five minutes that's too. right yeah so what we would do is say children special treat for you tonight you get to wear earbuds in bed 
<laughs> oh yeah, this is great, mum and dad. Yeah, but yeah, you can put some music on and you know you can listen. It's like oh really? Yeah. So they get their earbuds and they get to go to bed early because you know they're they're all about this now and. We get a date night at home, <laughs> and the children are just Candles, in the bedroom. Candles, soft music, maybe you want to watch something together. You know, there's all different kinds of things. We have a hot tub, and sometimes that would be our date night. Yeah, so, but talking, talking is what it's yeah, all about. One more is. quote here, another thing to talk about. Um, this is from Christian Service. It says, it is the little attentions, the numerous little incidents and simple courtesies of life that make up the sum of life's happiness. And it is the neglect of kindly, encouraging, affectionate words and the little courtesies of life which help compose the sum of life's wretchedness. You know, we're all busy. We've all got so many things going on that we forget this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think, I think our enemy designs it that way. So we've got to make it important to spend some time together because it is important. Well, and that quote makes me think of some of the, just the practical tangibles of like the little courtesy. So maybe this isn't your habit, but so you're going out to eat somewhere together. Guys, you can open a car door for her. You can open the door to the restaurant and that instantly sets the tone of, especially if that's not your habit, it sets the tone of this is different, this is special, I'm treating her special and that can go a long ways to those little courtesies. And another thing, um, so you're telling the guys what to do, uh -huh. I can tell the ladies <laughs> what to do. Hey ladies, wear something special, mm -hmm. something he likes. Mm -hmm something he likes <laughs> and you know a bit of perfume i don't know just something to make it special even if you're not going anywhere even if you're just at right home. oh absolutely we did that we did that a lot when the children were younger and we didn't have we weren't going places and leaving the children of course if you're not going anywhere you're at home then your options on what you can wear gets I was going to say bigger, <laughs> maybe, maybe I mean smaller. <laughs> anyway, let's move on, let's move on. We got a few pictures here. Um, so our kids were flying off somewhere. We dropped them off at the airport. That's when we go to town, it seems. Yeah, it is. Um, so we, said, we sent this picture to the children. Well, so the cat's away, the mice will play. We went to Panera Bread. Um, if you haven't been to Panera Bread, Try it. I don't know if there's one in your area. You know, you, you know where you like they're to eat. Typically, we go to these places because these are the ones the children rave about when they're on their travels. So we're like sending pictures. Hey, guess what? Well, we're in your favorite also, restaurant. And also Mod Pizza and Panera Bread <laughs> only just, just opened. In, in our little town. There's our not a lot of choices in our little town. But So here we are. It was uh, it was a winter's day, but it was actually really warm. It was. Out, out the back. It was. So we sat out the back in the sunshine away from the music and enjoyed this is Panera bread. Carolyn is gluten free and she got this amazing salad. Yeah, you rave huge about it. salad. It was beautiful. Another picture? Yeah. I was just going to I was just going to say this isn't the only way to have a date night is to go to a restaurant. True. But we're talking about, you know, outside right now there's snow. So going for a walk is another way. You can go for a bike ride together. We do all of the above, but obviously this time of the year you can't do that as much. So we're just looking at things that you can do this time of year. Um, otherwise you can say, well, we can't go for a walk next week. So, so date nights are off until June. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, the whole purpose of this, this program is for you to make a date night appointment today. This, this, week, this week, for this coming week. And during that time, you're going to look at how we can do this more frequently. This picture here is Carol and I. We went up to Canada, up to some hot springs, just a couple of hours from here uh, for our wedding anniversary. Our 30th. And uh, Karen's hair's a bit flat there because she just come out of the hot pools. <laughs> um, we were just in the breakfast area. Yeah, so that, that was great. That was a date three days. Again, the children were away, so... Three we days, just... two nights. Yep. Yeah, man, you can cover a lot of ground. <laughs> um, this is more of a summer picture. Mm -hmm. um, this was us in Glacier Park, but the, the, we're only showing you these just to encourage you. Hey, the two of you were married before you had children. Well, at least most of the time. So enjoy each other. Don't let your marriage get buried under diapers right, and right. you know school practice for this, that and piano and all those things. In fact, what we'd like to encourage you to do, so on your date night, take us a selfie 
and send it to us. We'd like to see that. We can, you know, we can compare selfies on date nights. That would be a lot of fun. What a good idea. I like that. <laughs> Very good idea. We okay. want to see your selfies. <laughs> send us those selfies. We promise we will not publish yeah. them without <laughs> no, your permission. <laughs> <laughs> All right. God bless you. Uh, we hope today's program has been enjoyable and that you do set a time to do something special, just the two of you. Um, if you would like to get more programs, of course, you have to subscribe uh, here on YouTube um, and hit the little bell and you'll get notifications every time we upload. And God bless you. Until next time. Bye now.